right, we're ready for the next travel themed um, element for our travel journal. So this time we're going to start with a piece of 8.5 by 11 copy paper. You want something of decent quality. This just happened to be on the top of the pile in a drawer. So what I want to make, so we've had a passport, we've had luggage tags, now I'm going to make an ele envelope, <laughs> okay, an envelope for travel documents. So folding this up, I don't know, about three inches I guess. And then turn around and I want, you can eyeball this or if you're like me and you have to measure everything. I'm going to measure this about four and a half inches. So, uh, that looks good. I might want to trim off a bit. Nah, let's not. Okay, then, uh, let's do about an inch from this end. That'll be the bottom flap eventually. And then oh, a good inch and a half from the top. Maybe an inch and three quarter. Not an inch and a half is fine. Fold this and do some cutting. So I've got a black pen here to sort of, sort of, sort of show you where my pen go. Oh, here it is. So we're going to cut off these four corners. Um, but on these. on these long sides, or the short side, I guess. Um, just want to angle this in a smidge. So I, so here's the fold line. That's the fold line. So we're just going to go in a smidge rooney, which is a technical term. Okay. And we're just going right to that fold line. And if you have a good long pair of scissors, you should be okay. If you don't, then you might want to draw the line with scissors, or with a ruler, I mean. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't cut this part off. Alrighty. 
Now, let's just check this. Yeah, that's more or less what we want. Didn't get that right on the fold. Okay. Now, we're planning where we're going to put the, you know, the windy, stringy, windy things. So this is four and a half inches across. So I want to find the center. So it's uh, two and a quarter. So I'll have a circle here and then I'll have another circle here about. And again, I want it to be in the center this way. Okay. So that's where we're going to have our windy thing. Okay. So now we'll get a piece of map. This one happens to be Eastern Canada. And I'm going to glue this to the map. And the reason I'm doing that is because this uh, paper has proven to be pretty fragile. So I want to make sure that um, it's not going to split when I fold it. But keep the black marks up. Make sure you don't accidentally cover those up. So I'm going to put the glue on the opposite side. And I'm just using my purple glue. It helps me to see if I've got glue everywhere. Um, now when we're putting this down onto the map page itself, I found that using like a, a card, like a, not a credit card, but a credit card like thing, I happen, happen to have a Canadian Automobile Association card here. And that just helps to get it down a little smoother. start I'm not going to put it right on the edge because if I miss it then I'm messed up okay Now we're going to do some more cutting. You can use scissors, you can use your craft knife, whatever you feel comfortable with. For a change I'm using scissors. It's going to be a little curly at first. idea what's actually going to be showing on this map. I didn't look.
stuff. And I'll use the half inch corner rounder on my chomp chomper corner chomper. I gotta fold these in first. Pokey tool. Which I can't find, but I'll use my what you call it, stitch ripper poke a little hole in there. Come on. It's real resistant because this isn't the sharpest pokey tool. And the paper is slightly damp. Okay. So this is going to go like this. That's where the circle's going to be, and it's going to wrap around like that. But before I go any further, I want to stitch, because I love sewing on paper. But I'm not going to take a break. I'm not going to make you wait. Um, I've already got this one stitched. So that's what that looks like. I did not poke the holes in this one, though, yet. need a quick ink though. I don't know if I'm going to glue this down or not, so I'll ink the back anyway so that I have a choice to leave this free floating. together. So it will be good and strong.
punch some circles here. I'm not going to use the 5 eighths that we used this, mor uh, this morning um, on the luggage tags. I'm going to use the one inch punch. So we need two of these. You know what I want to do first? I'm going to give us a center. Where I'm going to put a brad through. Okay, now I'll try to get that right in the center. There's one. That's two. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I'll leave both sides just in case I flip it upside down. Okay. I need some brads. I'm just looking up here to see what I got in Bradville. some vintage ones in here. These the same? Yep. I have some really big round round ones here. That'd be really big. string. Pardon me while I rustle about. Hope this will work. Just do one more single circle. And I'm doing that because I want to I'll use this because I want to glue that string inside. Oh, that's not the way I want it. I want the string to come up. And I'll glue it together. So it's coming out the center there. All right. 
So I'm just going to put the legs of the brad through and um, then poke them through this hole here. Now, there's this is going to be in this is going to be um, the brad legs are going to be covered underneath by this map um, but if they weren't I would use a piece of masking tape just so when you're putting documents in and out um, you don't want them to get caught on that okay So this one's perfectly safe, but if it wasn't safe, just put a piece of masking tape on like that. Okay, next one. Put the legs through the hole. See if you can get this part. There we go. Okay. You can cover that up if you want to. Um, it's not going to show. All right. Um, so I'm going to run a bead. Glue down this edge and then we're on a bead of glue down this edge. Okay. That just flattened right out. And starting to crack on that edge. The other edges look good. It, it, I mean, it's not going to fall apart because it's got the second layer of paper there, but all right. And then it just... goes loop, loop, loop. So there's our document envelope. Uh, I hope you thought this was an interesting, if not painful to watch, <laughs> craft. Um, I'll be back again with another travel related element using maps from a uh, vintage atlas. Thanks so much for watching.